Well, the staff is fantastic. Um, everybody is very devoted and they contribute in their own way to the success of the library. And without everybody, we wouldn't have what we have, especially during the shutdown time. Um, the community is incredibly responsive. We have a lot of the same people that attend, but we also have people that attend outside of that realm and even outside of the city. Um, so we have really great feedback from those in the community. I think much more than books, which is the original need for libraries, with books and resources and an information hub just to get the, the paper resources. Now, um, well now it's becoming more of a virtual hub, but also before that, I, the biggest attribute that we had was our programs. So whether it's children's programming or historical programming aimed towards adults, um, art programming, uh, story times which we do twice a week regularly uh, I think all of them are very influential to those in the community and we have a little bit of something for everybody um, I miss Laura as I tell all the kids uh, Laura Buchanan and I'm over the uh, youth services downstairs mainly I do the story time and the team programs yeah. well when uh, when we were in person we do story times we uh, have a little craft geared based on the the story that we do um, we incorporate team programs such as Dungeons and Dragons which we just started I was a huge fan of that um, we have a teen zone where they can come and hang out and offer snacks there um, and then we just try to come up with other ideas uh, like making slime um, just various things that we think the kids will like. It's made, now that we're online, um, it has been really just stretching out and trying to get creative. So I do the virtual story times twice a week. Um, we put together little craft packets for the kids, um, just trying to interact with them. And on um, our Instagram page, I still try to in, kind of reach out to the teenagers. So I do little polls and crafts there. Um, I was reading to them. I'm getting ready to start Dr. Doolittle over there. So just trying to keep engaging with them. <laughs> so a uh, local artist, Amy Williams, actually donated this painting to us when she had closed down her local studio. Um, I think it is a great addition to the library and we decided to hang it right up here so as soon as you come in which the majority of the people come through our parking lot door then they can see it and it adds a beautiful splash of color to the wall we do have a lot of great feedback but in the future i hope that we have even more and i hope that more people participate and aren't afraid to get out there and aren't afraid to involve their children in the things that there are to do around this community uh, more than anything, I hope that numbers go up and I hope we see more people walking down the streets and more people coming in the library. Tune in every Monday for Japanese Word of the Week. Today's phrase is Wareranō chiki o iwau. Wareranō chiki o iwau means celebrate our community in Japanese. Wareranō chiki o iwau. Celebrate our community.